we have got a lot of updates for the channel. What's going on guys? Welcome to a bit of a chill video. This is going to be just a basic channel update to talk about some of the pieces of content that we have done in the past, what we plan to bring back, and some ways that I think we're going to be upping the ante a little bit on the It Resolves channel. Before we jump into that, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who is uh, following, subscribed, hanging out with us on Discord, any of that stuff. I really do appreciate it. It's great to see the community growing. We've got a fantastic group, uh, and I just want to give a quick shout out, especially to our Discord community who is always so positive uh, and obviously that's where a lot of the live interaction uh, between you guys happens and it's really fun to just sit there and watch a little bit and see what you guys talk about and uh, again everybody is so positive and so uh, just uplifting I would suggest that uh, I just want to say a huge thank you you guys are really amazing and it's great to have all of you new folks here I know we do have a giveaway going on right now uh, and I suppose that's a good place to start uh, I would like to up the ante with the giveaways. Um, as you guys know, we generally, every time a new set comes out, uh, we generally give away a bundle of that new set uh, for free to one lucky winner. And I think that that's a really a great thing to do and I want to keep giving stuff away, but I kind of want to do a better, a, a better job of giving stuff away. Uh, and with that, I think uh, the first step at, at the very least I think is going to be uh, pushing booster boxes, not just bundles. Uh, so I think the plan from here on out after this giveaway is that we'll probably be giving away a full booster box of a standard set uh, anytime it comes out. Now for one-off sets, uh, master sets, anything like that that might come out that's a little bit pricier, uh, we do have to kind of manage expenses and see what we can do. Uh, but for the most part, I think that that's a better way to do it. I mean, you guys have been extraordinarily positive, but we haven't done a whole lot to up the ante with our giveaways other than making them easily accessible for more people, uh, which I think is really the first step, and I'm glad we took that one. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there that if you're subscribed, if you're following us on Discord, if you're hanging out with us anywhere, really on any of our platforms, uh, chances are you're already entered to win. So if you didn't know that, uh, please do check out our uh, giveaway posts. We do... <clears throat> Uh, videos over here on YouTube. We also do posts over on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, basically everywhere. So uh, it's kind of hard to miss, but just in case, uh, please do check that out. Uh, okay, now following that up, probably the most, uh, the highest questions that I get, or the most questions that I get asked are about Challenge Week. Uh, now, if you guys don't know what Challenge Week is, um, essentially the idea was that you guys create decks, we're going to pit them against each other. And uh, the winner of whatever the challenge happened to be uh, is the one that uh, gets a prize, whatever that prize is. And usually that prize is like extra proxies that we or digital altars that we normally only make available to Patreon members. Um, I still really like that idea. The, the issue that we ran into, and I'm sharing this very candidly with everybody here, is that uh, we got the same people submitting decks over and over again and in some circumstances even got the same combos and things like that uh now i get it you know that's fine uh we we don't expect everybody in the discord to to be sharing decks with every with everyone every week and that's totally fine uh and some of you aren't deck builders and that's okay too but um i did want to see a bit more of a, a just a variety uh and i was a little disappointed in that when we did the initial challenge week uh and so i know i've gotten a lot of questions on it i've been holding off that's on me uh that's not on you guys by any means but i do want to try and find a way to bring back the challenge week but encourage more people to take part uh, and some of that I'm going to be calling on you guys for a little bit. Uh, I think it's really important that, you know, if you guys want to be a part of this community, a positive influence on this community, that's fantastic. I cannot thank you guys enough. One way to do that uh, is to encourage other people to take part. Uh, and I'm not asking you guys to like free advertise or anything like that. I'm not trying to get you guys to do that. I'm just simply suggesting uh, that one way we make this channel better uh, is by spreading the word of the channel, which is just to hang out and have a good time and play some magic. So I hope that you guys, if you've got friends or if you've got people that are deck builders and we do bring back the challenge week, that we organize it in a way where you guys feel like you can share it out with people. Uh, I would highly encourage you to do so. That'd be great. A uh, couple pieces of content that I'm not positive on uh, that I wanted to talk about. 
Uh, JDC, the Jank Deck Competition. That's something that we did a while back. We technically have done like three seasons of it, uh, and it's really, really fun. Um, the first two seasons were just with our moderator, Alex, uh, who unfortunately I haven't heard a whole lot from recently. I know he's been quite busy, uh, and so I don't think um, he's gonna be able to participate if we do it again, I don't know for sure. Um, but we did have an array of other people playing in season three, and it turned out to be a really good time. Uh, uh, the problem was nobody really watched it. Uh, it was really fun for us to make uh, and we did put a lot of time and effort into it, uh, making team logos, like doing some fun stuff like that, but nobody really seemed to enjoy it. Uh, and so if you enjoyed the JDC, if you enjoyed the Jank Deck competition, leave a comment down below or just let me know, uh, message me, do something. I'd like to do it again because honestly it was just really fun to do. But I don't want to spend that. That was a high, uh, that was a very time consuming thing. And so I don't want to push it, push it, push it, and then nobody watch it and have wasted a good bit of time because I think it does take quite a bit of time. So just something to think about there. Uh, leave a comment down below if you do enjoy it. Uh, Breaking the Bot is another little mini series that we did where we would play just ridiculous decks against the, the bot in MTG Arena with the goal of breaking the bot. Now, I never officially kind of came out and said this, uh, but I think it, I mean, it makes sense, uh, and you guys haven't seen it done in a while. There's a reason for that. They introduced a lot of caps with things like tokens uh, that made it a little bit more difficult to break the bot because it sort of just says, no, you can't do that anymore. Um, and it makes it a lot less fun. Uh, that happened a while ago, so truth be told, we haven't done it for a while, and I don't plan on going back to breaking the bot unless we find a new and creative way to do it. So if you do have a deck list, you want to submit it, feel free, but uh, don't feel like, you know, if it doesn't happen, don't feel discouraged or anything. It's probably just because we're not going to do it. Um, uh, third one, and this is one that is very silly because we're kind of doing it right now, is the Weekly Ramble. Um, that was something I did a long, long time ago. I'm talking like, I was back in my apartment, so this would have been like three years ago. Um, and essentially, basically what I was doing was just like going through a list of, you know, items that were going on that week in Magic uh, or in the world of Magic and kind of just talking about them. And then sometimes I would have a little bit of a preview for the channel as well. If there's anything new coming up, I would talk about it there, a giveaway, whatever. Um, and that that was fun. I actually really like the weekly ramble. I, I like talking, clearly, uh, but um, I and some people actually really enjoyed it, I know, but I don't know what the new gauge is on that. Is that something you guys want to see? Is that something you guys want me to talk about? Um, it would be really fun because it does allow a platform for like ban restricted announcements, um, new set releases, you know, some of that kind of stuff. Um, but and I, I kind of uh, I kind of just haven't done that in a long time because it's been such a uh, I, I don't know. It felt like I was reaching uh, sometimes when I was doing that. So I didn't really feel like uh, that was a necessary thing. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed it and want it back, I'm happy to just sit here and talk to you guys. Uh, speaking of which, the podcast, that's another one. Uh, I did actually talk to Will about that. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Will is the one who uh, co-hosted the podcast. He and I started the channel together years ago, uh, over five years ago. And uh, he's a really great co-host. I really like doing the podcast with Will. Uh, I don't particularly want to do it with anybody else. Not the It Resolves podcast. I would do other podcasts, but like, I don't particularly want to do the podcast without Will because he is such a big part of the inception of the channel. Um, we did kind of chat about it. If you don't know, he has two kids. He just had his second. Um, and so they're, they're fairly busy. I mean, that's just the reality of it. We're close to 30 now, so it makes sense. Um, but uh, he, he did mention that, you know, if we wanted to do a podcast episode, just when it makes sense to do a podcast episode. So like new set releases, new big announcements, like things like that, we could do that. And that might actually take the per the place of the weekly ramble uh, in that world. So maybe that's something we can decide to do. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update there that we are kind of playing around with that idea. I'd really like to bring it back. It's just, 
it's a timing issue. That's all it is. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention in terms of content, I know we're kind of going long here. We're at close to 10 minutes, but just normal gameplay. Uh, that's always going to be a big part of the channel, most likely uh, from here on out. I think that that's really important. Uh, oh, actually, there's one I forgot to talk about. Excuse me. Uh, but normal gameplay always going to be a part of the channel uh we obviously do a lot of standard we do historic and we do historic brawl uh we can do more things like limited which we haven't really touched on uh but that might be kind of fun uh if you guys are interested in drafting or uh sealed play uh just shoot a comment at me let me know below if there's enough reaction to it then maybe i'll start doing some of that as well i think that'd be really fun um the the last one i forgot to talk about was the crack -a pack series which is hilarious because that was such a uh <laughs> that was such a long uh series um i don't think that series was necessarily great um I think it could have been quite a lot better, but uh, it was actually really fun. So if you don't know what it was, basically on a semi-regular basis, we would open up a pack of a random set. Now that set could be basically anything back to like within reason. Obviously we can't spend like $200 on a pack of cards, but what we did a lot of times, we went back to like fourth edition, we did Chronicles, we did uh, some of the like just really old school sets and a mixture of course of the new sets so we did a lot of new ones as well because uh, it was just picked at random i went to scryfall hit random card whatever set came up was the set that we picked uh and we would order those in and then go ahead and open those up on the channel it's really fun to open up those kinds of things um i really enjoy it but it's expensive and sometimes it's not really all that worth it for you guys in particular it's like hit or miss um, so if that's something you're interested in, again, I'm asking you guys to do a lot, I know, but leave a comment down below if that's something you're you're interested in seeing back. Uh, I think it would be fun to do. I just don't want to like overuse and, you know, push the same material. If we can do something new, I'd, I'd like to play with that a little bit. Um, trying to think if there was any other content. Obviously, we're going to have some one-off things like mystery crate openings with Grand Slam, uh, all kinds of box openings, you know, fun stuff like that. But uh, those are kind of the normal like rounds of content that we do. And it's kind of nice to have a chronicle of like all the stuff that we do because there is a lot. Um, but I do. This is where I really need your guys' help, um, truthfully. If you've got new ideas for content, we've talked about like top 10 lists. Uh, we've talked about just lore videos. We've talked about all kinds of stuff. Um, some of which I've already got ideas for and that I really do want to play with, but it's a time sink. Uh, and so I, I'm worried about gauging that time and putting too much time into something that's just not useful. Um, but if that is something you are interested in, please, 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 now is the time. Share it in the comment section below just so I know what you guys want to see because I do want to make sure that this channel is not only fun for me because it's always going to be fun for me, but hopefully fun for you guys to watch. Uh, that's the goal. That's the end goal. So please do take the time. Uh, comment down below if there's anything we talked about or didn't talk about that you guys are really interested in. And we'll hopefully see if we can put something together towards the end of the year here. This is the fun time where we can kind of test. Uh, work isn't as stressful. You know, we've got some time to play with uh, and so I want to take that opportunity now and really push push some new pieces of content <clears throat> and hopefully set us up for a great year next year so uh, guys I just want to say again a huge thank you to everybody who is a part of this community honestly and I've said this a million times but this has been such a pleasure to to host it resolves for you guys and you know be a part of the gameplay be a part of the fun be a part of the community uh, and give back to the community a little bit and like I don't know. I That's one of those fulfillment kind of things that I did not expect and it just kind of happened and it's fantastic. Uh, and five years later, we're still going strong. So just want to say thank you guys. I love you all very, very much. Your support is hugely, hugely appreciated, especially to the patrons. I just want to say a huge uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, without you, obviously, a lot of what we do wouldn't be possible. Uh, and so thank you guys very much. But guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you for considering. Comment down below. Please, please let us know what you guys want to see. I would love to, to kind of tailor some stuff to you guys if we can help it. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully we'll have some gameplay later today as well. We will see. But I love you all very much. I'll talk to you again very soon.